are making wonderful, beautiful, delicious almonds vegan cheese. If you want it like super creamy, the longer that you soak the almonds, the creamier it is for your cheese. But you don't absolutely have to soak the almonds. If you want the almonds, if you want the cheese itself to be that kind of off-white kind of color, then you do have to use boiled water and uh, pour it over the almonds and let it soak for a bit so that the skin of the almonds can come off so that the cheese will actually be white or off-white, whatever. Cheese color. <laughs> You don't absolutely have to remove the skin off of the almonds though to have the, the same taste of the cheese so you can just keep the skin uh, on the almonds like I am doing. So if you want really absolutely creamy cheese then I suggest uh, soaking the almonds in cold water for about 24 hours but again like I said it's not absolutely necessary to soak them there is not much of a difference besides uh, the creaminess uh, in terms of cheese for every one cup of raw almonds you're going to have three tablespoons of lemon juice three tablespoons of olive oil or coconut oil uh, whichever oil you decide to use uh, I suggest coconut oil because, well, that's what I'm using, and I just prefer coconut oil. Three quarters, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Uh, I'm using pink Himalayan salt in, in this recipe, and half a cup of water. Uh, now these measurements are for every for every cup of almonds that you have. And in this recipe, I actually have six cups of raw almonds. Now, anything else that you add to this recipe for uh, special flavors that you want to add to the cheese so that, um, let's say it's like a garlic and herb cheese kind of thing, anything else you add to it is perfectly up to you. You can add whatever flavors you like. And whatever flavors I add to this, that's my own personal preference. And I just want it to be noted that I have let the almond soak in the water for only two hours. So in proportion to the six cups of raw almonds, I have added 18 tablespoons of lemon juice. I have added 18 tablespoons of coconut oil, I have added 3 cups of water, and I have added 4.5 teaspoons of pink Himalayan salt. Four and a half would be more accurate. Now blend this for about five minutes until completely smooth. As you can see here, I've taken about half of what I've put into the blender and uh, put it into a container to finish blending the previous half. I've also added a clove of fresh garlic to this blender as well as a couple of spoons of nutritional yeast and I've done the same to this one as well. Uh, I will blend this after uh, putting this away to become firm. The reason that I emptied about half of this out of the blender was for obvious reasons that there was not enough space in the blender to actually fit all of it in and make it smooth so that it becomes like cheese. 
Now, once you have blended your second half of the cheese, you can use it for whatever you please. You can use it as a spread, you can use it as a sauce, you can use it as uh, an addition to nachos, which you will see in next week's video. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends, I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and awesome streaming. I love you guys so, so, so.